Well, a woman was struck and killed last night on Milwaukee's north side. This all happened at 65th and Hampton. Brandon Rook talked to the woman's family. Finding out about Lakeisha Bryce's death was the worst thing in the world for her family. She's leaving behind five children. It's rough. It's hard on me. It really is. It's a shocker. James Patton is devastated to learn about the death of his daughter, 36 year old Lakeisha Bryce. She's my caregiver. And I, and I just, just miss her. Really do. Police say Bryce was hit by a car last night near 65th and Hampton. The driver of the car stayed until police arrived. Patton says Bryce was on her way to the store. She usually come back. So I called her around nine because I know she's supposed to be back. But that never happened and she's leaving behind five children. Her oldest son, Michael King, says he'll miss her. I just bust out in tears. Crazy moment. I never thought this moment would happen. King is at least grateful the driver stayed. I appreciate that they at least had enough decency to stay on the scene until police and stuff got there. I'm glad they didn't just hit and run. And they weren't the only ones who were there. Barbara Rosa witnessed the aftermath and prayed with Bryce as she took her last breath, posting to Facebook to let Bryce's family know she wasn't alone. What else can you do but just pray? I really appreciate it. The lady just stayed with her and she didn't die by us alone. Milwaukee police are still investigating. We'll be following along and keep you updated. Police say that the driver is cooperating. From 65th and Hampton, I'm Brandon Rook. Today's TMJ4. Very sad. The family is planning a vigil at 9 o'clock tonight at the scene of that accident.